guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a vampire makeup tutorial for you guys for Halloween. It's kind of like a glam vampire. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. You're obviously going to need a pale complexion. So I'm going to go in with the True Blend Liquid Makeup by CoverGirl. And this is in the shade Ivory. So it's super, super, super light. And put that all over my face. It's really hard when you have to like go lighter skin tones because a lot of times foundations don't really blend well and it doesn't look natural. But this foundation is really good because it does look natural. It blends in super, super well with the skin. Because it's water-based, it blends really easily. So my favorite foundations personally are ones that are water-based. Like even if you choose the wrong shade right now, for example, um, it still is going to look really natural. So that's what I like best about this foundation and why I chose this one. CoverGirl has a lot of shades in this foundation too, so if you are like, oh, <laughs> this isn't light enough for me, or oh, I actually really like this, um, they have a lot of shade options. You're also going to want to bring any product down onto your neck so you don't have an extreme jawline. So I'm going to skip under eye concealer because obviously, we are vampires, we don't get much sleep, so foundation is all that you need. What I'm actually gonna do is go in and set it with a translucent powder. And I don't want to I wanna be like a beat vampire, so I'm gonna beat my face with this. So I'm just gonna take that same brush that I used and just beat it, you know? And then I'm just gonna keep this on until I'm done with the eyes. So for the eyes, we're first going to fill in the brows. Now, a lot of times with vampires, they have good brows, but they're just dark, and they're just there. So I'm not really going to beat them. I'm just going to darken them up, and to do that, I'm just going to use any black eyeshadow that you have. We're going to just fill in the brows. I know black is like crazy to do, but... It's Halloween, man. We can do it. And again, don't worry if they don't look good. That is okay. I mean, vampires, do vampires do their makeup? I don't really know. For the eyes, I'm using this CoverGirl quad in the shade Stunning Smokies. I've used these in previous tutorials. You guys know that I love these. I think they're great little quads. And with this one, we're going to go in with the white and the black. And then we're going to go in with the blue a little bit later. So this is going to be super, super, super sloppy. So if this like scares you, don't let it because it's supposed to be really, really sloppy. So I'm first going to take this white and I'm going to put that all over the lid. I really like these quads because they're so, so pigmented for the price for them. Um, it's like really rip off of how amazingly pigmented these shadows are. Next I'm going to go in with this black and I'm going to run that in the outer corner of the crease and outer lid and we're just going to blend this a lot so to the point where it doesn't look crazy anymore but to the point where it looks dramatic and full of vampire-ness. What's also really great is that these quads are complementary shades of each other, so they already have like the shades picked out for you, which is really, really nice. You don't have to worry about matching anything because everything in the quads already match and like go well together. And these just make making like an effortless smoky eye or a really pretty look really, really easy for you guys. So that's why I love them so much and I always will promote them because I think they're amazing quads. Yeah, you look crazy. So once you look a little bit insane, that's how you want to look. I'm gonna go in with this perfect Point Plus Eyeliner by CoverGirl in the shade Onyx. It's like one of the blackest eyeliners I've ever used. It's really, really amazing. It's water resistant, so I'm going to put this in the waterline so that it lasts all night. I also really like this because it's self-sharpening at the top, so if you want to put on the upper lash line, it's going to have a nice point for you. With this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the waterline. I'm also going to put this a little bit onto the lower lash line. This is going to be really, really messy. It will probably give some people anxiety right now. What I'm going to do, this is going to make us look extra tired, which is like the goal for a vampire. I just, I love like a gothic vampire look. Like, yes, give it to me. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take the smudger and this is gonna give me a really soft and smudgy look. And girl, we are smudging this as much as we can. Then you're just gonna repeat on the other eye. Now I'm just gonna go in with a powder brush. I'm just gonna wipe off all of my powder that's left over. 
And now our foundation is going to stay on a lot longer. I'm going to finish the lower lash line in just a minute. But real quick, I'm just going to go in with some mascara and fake eyelashes on the upper lashes. This is the CoverGirl Lash Plus Volume in the shade uh, Berry Black. You want the blackest you can get girl. I like this one because I had eyelash extensions and then I took them out and my eyelashes are really stubby and really short now so I would not recommend eyelash extensions even though they give you pretty lashes they actually do kind of ruin your real lashes and I've heard that from multiple people but I didn't listen to them but I should have. So I like this because it gives me volume for my little tiny, tiny, tiny lashes. So it just makes my lashes look full and have a lot of volume in their stubby, stubby state that they're in right now. I don't know if you guys like are interested in like stuff that wins awards, but this mascara won an award. We're not putting any on the lower lashes because we're gonna do something cooler on the lower lash line. There we have it, instant lashes for my little stubby lashes. Real quick, I'm just going to add some fake eyelashes. These are the Ardell 120s. They're my favorite. I'm going to do it off camera because there's no way I'm going to be able to stay in frame from this, so I'll be right back. Alright, so the glue's a little crazy looking. It'll look better when it dries, but we're looking good so far, kids. We're going to move on to the face and do some intense contouring. And I'm going to take this on a 224, and I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. And first I'm going to go in with this gray right here. Because we are so pale, we need to use gray tones to look dead and kind of rotting. Um, and also to give us a contour. If we were to use brown tones, we just look tan. We don't want to look tan, we want to look contoured and chiseled. So with that gray color on the 224, we're really just going to place that right in the hollow. And we are going to go back in and define this multiple, multiple times to make this super, super contoured out and chiseled. Like a line of contour is okay for this makeup look because we're vampires. And I always like to bring it down. It kind of, oh no, I like it. In my contour routine, no one liked it, but I like it. There we have out our nice chiseled, chiseled cheeks. I'm also just gonna go up a little bit on the temple right here to cave this area in. I don't know why, but I always feel like this always looks super caved in. I'm gonna make it a little more intense because why not? Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this, oh geez, this gray. So if you guys can see, it's just a little bit darker than that gray that we just used. And I'm putting this at the base of that contour and you're gonna see that it really just defines everything. And I'm just keeping it mainly back here and lightly feathering it down. Yeah, right? What a difference, huh? So right at the base. No blush, we want no color, but we do want to be glowy. Vampires are glowy humans. So I'm taking the Bomb Mary Illuminizer. This is a great illuminator because it is pale and it is really, really shimmering. You guys know that I just took a bunch of this. And we're putting that on the cheekbones, down the nose, on the forehead. Kind of coat your forehead in this. Kind of just using it like as a powder because it is so shimmery and vampires are shimmery. I'm going to do the lips. So for the lips, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Outlast Longwear Lipstick. This is great because it does not budge throughout the night. So you put it on and you're good to go. What's also really good is it's moisturizing so it doesn't make your lips look cracked. Um, so vampires seem to always have like really, really luscious lips for some reason. So this will give you that look and the color so you don't have to like, compromise. It's actually really awesome. First, just going to put this all over my lips. It smells good. Oh, this is in the shade, um, oh no, what shade? Red Siren. I wasn't trying to be neat. It's okay because we're gonna go back in and define it with the Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner by CoverGirl. And we're gonna line the lips with this and fill it in. And that to me just gives it like a nice vampire blood eaten look like 
you have black lips and then you have blood peeking out through them. I don't know. I love the look of this. Now on to the last part and the fun part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blue that's in the quad that we used in the beginning. And all I'm going to do is smudge this super low onto the lower lash line. And then take this out of the brush and get it as low as I can. And then when it doesn't get low enough, I'm going to take the blue on this side and really drag it low. I'm really feeling it. Last step, take some gel liner and a little skinny brush like this. And we're gonna add veins. Now this can very easily get too overdone, so think less is more, because it really is. Less is so much more. I did this once before, and I added too many veins and it looked bad. So all you really have to do is draw like little T's and kind of like wishbones underneath your eyes and it looks like veins. So do like a few veins. You really shouldn't do a lot. And that's the makeup. Alright, so as for a costume, I think that the makeup really speaks for itself, so you really don't need to be elaborate at all when it comes to the costume. My favorite thing is to wear leggings and a sweater type shirt like this is kind of see-through, so it's kind of cool. And it has a hood, so I like this because it's really comfortable. I think that looks kind of boring, so what I always like to do is add these little head pieces to it. They just look like this. I got mine at Tilly's. I think this works better with the middle part. Let me just middle part of my hair real quick. I don't know, I just think that looks like really cool with a vampire. It's like an Egyptian vampire. Then knock that hood up. And you're good. I look like a vampire. <laughs> So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure. <laughs> so I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking of being for Halloween. I think I'll be a vampire, but that's just me. So I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>